We would like you to tell us your name yeah, and your portfolio. Then you follow it with uh, the infrastructure deficits we have in the country when it comes to energizing uh, or the power sector in Nigeria. So what are your takes from or what we've discussed today? Okay. Yeah, so my name is Bimbola Banjo. I'm a partner with the uh, management consulting practice of PwC. And I look after finance advisory uh, for Western Africa. Uh, and I think this was a very well put together event. Uh, diverse views, diverse opinions, various players in the industry. Uh, covered a lot of, of topics. I think we spoke about availability, we spoke about funding, we spoke about renewable power and renewable energy. We spoke about some of the issues that plague the industry at the moment. So I think it was a very good event. My views around the sector are that the work that the government is doing, the government should continue. There's um, work that has been done around the Electricity Act of 2023. It's a, the Act packs with a punch, as I always say. It's, it's one of those laws that has so many things in it. And if we can, in fact, in that law, in that Act, also contains the need for the development of the National Integrated Electric Policy and Strategic Implementation Plan. Uh, which is supposed to define the power generation needs and how we will deploy the renewable sources of, uh, sources of energy as well as take care of our energy requirements and energy mix uh, for, for the short, medium and long term. Right? Uh, and that act also contains how the states uh, will become active players in the industry and the sector. So I think for, for, as far as I'm concerned, I think the regulators are doing what they need to do. I think that act is followed through, uh, through right? I think it's one of those things that will help Nigeria overcome some of the challenges that we, we currently see. I think more, I think also another important point is that we need to see a change in behaviors by Nigerians. Nigerians are the first to complain about the tariff prices, but they are also the first to bypass and carry out electricity theft. So I think we cannot pay lip service to to, to public utilities. I think these utilities need to be funded. People pay for these utilities just the way people pay for them to be provided. So I think that clear understanding, the work of the of the state governments and the regulators are also cut out in that area. Where if you find people carrying out electricity thefts, then the right sort of sanctions or penalties need to be carried out. So I think with all of these sort of things, I think we're on something good. I think with all of this, I think we might find ourselves in a sector that is very different from where we where it is now. We need improved availability, more better reliability, etc. etc. Based on the events, what is your take on this on today's events, apart from your personal view of um, energizing an infrastructural deficit and how to overcome it? What is your take about business days um, powering and engaging events, the conference? Okay. Well, I think business day is up to something good. Uh, if you ask me, I think business day is showing themselves to be a real leader yeah. when it comes to topical events and topical issues. I know there's one that Business Day has on family businesses. I know there's one that Business Day has on shipping. And I think Business Day should just keep it up. I think I'm quite impressed. And kudos to you all. Well done.